there everyone so today we're going to feature Kurumbin Wildlife Sanctuary So once again, this is Kurumbin Wildlife Sanctuary. This is the front where you will be greeted with food stalls to where you can eat and dine with friends. Also, this will serve as a waiting area. Once you're ready, you can just go get your tickets on the ticketing booth on the side. When you're inside, the first thing that you will see are these cute koalas. Well, if I'm not mistaken, they said that this sanctuary homes more than 50 koalas and are one of the few places you can have a hold and get a photo with one of these cuddly strolling icons. If you are one of those people who are into reptiles, and I guess this den is for you. <laughs> If you want to go crazy with family and friends, there's an area for that. Check this one out. <laughs> Spiny-tailed monitor lizards are found in northern Western Australia, in the Northern Territory, and in the western and northwestern parts of Queensland. <laughs> this young fella are called mullets. They are native to Australia, and they are one of the largest members of the skink family. Now I'll be showing you the animals that are actually sleeping during the day and are very much active at night. These are what you call nocturnal animals. Well, personally speaking, this is refreshing because it reminded me of the different kinds of, you know, habitats. Say hi, so now we're back outside people and for some of you who didn't know Kurumbin Wildlife Sanctuary officially renamed in 1995 also um, this is now a heritage listed zoological garden set across 27 hectares imagine that that big of land of a natural eucalyptus rich bushland and rainforests So, if you're wondering what we're doing here, we're actually waiting for the train. Because as what I've mentioned earlier, this sanctuary is 27 hectares. So for you to go to a different area, you need to ride this train. To add up, this ride will not actually bore you because you will get to see a lot of animals, good sights, and lastly, the positive reaction of the people riding with you. Coming here is not limited to just watching and seeing animals. This is about witnessing first-hand talents of the trainers and how they showcase the unique talents of the animals as well. Oh, what? That's really 
it also can put a lot of children in a trap. Oh. In their net, as opposed to you and I, you see we have seven bones, whereas an owl has 14 vertebrae in their net. So they can rotate 270 degrees. They can look all the way to their left by swinging their head all the way to their right. How wild is that? Terrible activity here. Terrifying. Terrifying. Today, I'd like to mention earlier, well equipped with size light as well. They can be out and about during the daytime too, but they have to stay nice and hidden if they are out and about during the sunlight hours. Have a look at the coloration on her chest. They're very dappled, those uh, striations that mimic the dappled moonlight, even the sunlight. Coming from the bird show, we're on our way to Wild Burgers to grab some lunch. And we are just so lucky because Blinky Bill was here for his show. In fact, he doesn't have any regular show, he just pops in, pops up. And there goes our Cassidy having a photo op with Blinky. Welcome to Extinction Trail. If you want to travel back to a time when dinosaurs and megafauna ruled the earth and explore life on our planet long before the evolution of humans, this is where you need to be. Say sound. <laughs> This is where you can learn how they lived, how the earth changes during this time period, and what was behind the mass extinction that wiped out three quarters of the earth's plant and animal species. <laughs> and lastly, this is the area where you'll come face to face with these giants as you explore yeah. the Mesozoic era between 245 and 66 million years ago. Have fun with that! What? I 
That's a Pokemon. <laughs> That's a Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna sneeze. What's that? Boo. <laughs> it's a dingo. Oh yes, K, you're right. It's a dingo. And did you know that dingoes are the largest land predator in Australia and are considered apex predators, meaning top of the food chain? For the most part, dingoes are carnivores that eat meat, but they also eat fruit, grains, and nuts at times. Also, small to medium game is usually what's on the menu. More interesting facts about dingoes. Did you know that dingoes don't bark like dog, but they howl, yelp, whine, growl, chatter, snort, cough, and purr? Say hi to this cute wallaby. In general, wallabies tend to be smaller than kangaroos and can be distinguished by their darker muzzle and paws. Though they may be best known for hopping, wallabies can also crawl and swim. Say hello to Emo Bird. I named him Charlie. And did you know that Charlie can run at the speed of 48 km per hour? Bilimba, land of the parrots. The exhibit is home to at least 60 parrots at any given time and features rainforest, desert, and bush zones. Yes. Mommy and Daddy, and here's Blakey, always <laughs> <Where is> eating. <laughs> this is where you can immerse yourself in an environment that existed millions of years ago. Featuring five acres of stunning rainforest, Lost Valley takes you on a journey through the ancient supercontinent Gondwana. Also, you can explore a forgotten world and get up close and personal with some of the world's most unique and distinctive flora and wildlife. Red panda, where is so it from? This it's from Chinese. <laughs> and uh, there's a movie about it and it's called Turning Red. Turning Red. Yeah, right. and here it, it looks very cute in real life. Here. Yeah. Okay, show them. Ooh, why is the red panda very sad? He looks sad. Hmm. He looks Aww. sad.
ready for the kangaroo? Okay. Just walk, okay? No, no, that's okay. Just walk, walk. Okay, go push. Stay, baby, baby. Walk lang. It's okay. Your hand. Okay. Put it in front of his face. That's it. When he finishes chewing. It's a move thing. It's okay. He's still chewing. Say bye-bye. We're going now. <laughs>